again, everyone, Kata Kostman, publisher of Madison's Lumber Reporter, here to give you another update on the U.S. housing market, new home sales, house prices against my lumber prices. The home sales data just came out this week for August, and my lumber prices, of course, come out every week for that week. And so we have the uh, new home selling numbers up for August quite a bit, and the numbers for July were adjusted upward quite a bit, upwardly revised. So there is a lot going on in uh, the real estate market that is confusing people. There had been uh, somewhat uh, downturns earlier this year when the uh, interest rates were increased. However, the total number of home selling and ho houses on the market when you look year over year or year to date is relatively flat this year compared to last year. So the month over month data that can be volatile, it can fluctuate and doesn't necessarily give a very good picture, but the year over year data and the year to date information tells you a little bit more about what is going on in the full scope of the subject. The uh, time of year now is starting to slow down. After Labor Day, the real estate activity historically would be getting slower and that also means that lumber selling slows down and lumber prices start to drop which is what is happening right now the past couple of years the seasonality has not really been in play so we're sort of in a different time where we can't really look at 10 years ago to see what to expect for the rest of this year but we also really can't look at the past couple of years Definitely not last year. 2020 potentially could show us what's gonna happen this year or next year. So let's have a look at some of the graphs and I'll explain a little bit more of the actual data. Showing a striking reversal to recent months, sales of new US single family homes jumped significantly in August. There were 685,000 new single family homes sold last month, which is up almost 29% from the sharply upward revised July rate of 532,000 and is flat compared to the August 2021 rate of 686,000. At the sales pace in August, it would take 8.1 months to clear the supply of homes on the market. Six months is considered normal or good. There were 461,000 new homes on the market at the end of last month, up from 459,000 units in July. Houses under construction made up 66.4% of the inventory, with homes yet to be built accounting for 23% of that. Completed homes accounted for almost 11% of the inventory, well below the long-term average of 27%. These inventory numbers are still somewhat elevated, but much improved over last year. Great, and so that's the data and the situation that we're in right now. The longer term forecast is still quite good. We did have in the past couple of years these huge changes to society, people moving around, being able to choose a home based on what they wanted, not necessarily being close to work, all of that stuff. But beyond that, there is an underpinning of continued demand for both uh, housing construction and definitely for home buying as we have the single largest cohort of first time home buyer right now is millennials. And we're at the beginning of that uh, generational age, right? People turning 30 in their early 30s, starting to make these lifetime decisions. There's about 15 years worth of people still to come, okay? When you put that together with how the US was underbuilt drastically after the housing crash from 2006 to about 2018, you have a very imbalanced supply demand situation where there needs to be more home building to meet this future looming demand that's gonna be coming over the next 15 years. Now, the other thing that's important is that so far it has looked like the appetite of the millennials is not for a single family home. They're not necessarily looking to buy a house with a yard. There is a desire to be in a community for these townhome uh, condo type where there's a grocery store, a school, you know, a community center where they can bike around to do everything. They don't necessarily 
needs to have that, you know, mowing the lawn uh, the way that previous generations have wanted. So there is a switch from single family housing into multifamily. At the same time, there is an aging housing stock of the single family construction is starting to age out, depending on you know where it is and what it was made of and how it was built. Uh, about 50 years, 60 years uh, is starting to be the end of life for these homes that are existing, right? So we look at new homes because that's obviously housing construction, which is lumber demand, which is what I do, um, but it all plays into each other. So if you like what you see here, subscribe here on YouTube. These are just little snapshots uh, that I do when I have time on YouTube and put on my website. The full scope of the data, 500 individual softwood lumber and panel prices, that goes to my subscribers of my dashboard. They also get the commentary and that comes out every week. So every week they get the lumber prices that you see on the graphs that I'm showing you, whereas the housing stars and the home selling data comes out once a month. Uh, and so again, if you like what you see here, click like. And so other people will be recommended this video and do check back often as I'll have more updates coming over the rest of this year.